Miller's Tire and Auto Care. Need to hire experienced technicians, oil change, tire technician, tow truck drivers, exceptional benefits, and pay. Drop your resume off at Miller's Tire on the Big Hill Avenue location. Four high schools, seven middle schools, one college and a university, and much more. Now introducing your most comprehensive weekly local sports show in Madison County, the Richmond Register Sports Show. The Richmond Register Sports Show is brought to you by Metronet, super fast internet, simply a better connection. Total Comfort, heating and air conditioning. Let Total Comfort keep you cool or warm this winter. Call for service or for a free replacement quote. Winds Auto Detailing Service. Platinum Roofing, Solar and Green Solutions. Voted Richmond's best roofer seven years in a row. And by KYMedia.net, digital media solutions on your terms. Here's your host for all things local sports, the Richmond Register Sports Editor, Nathan Hutchison. Welcome to this week's edition of the Richmond Register Sports Show. My name is Nathan Hutchinson. I'm the sports editor of the Richmond Register. And as always, we appreciate you tuning us in. Uh, this week, we do not have an in-studio guest, but we have uh, lots of stuff to show you. It was a very busy week around the county. Lots of signings, lots of cool stuff going on, and uh, we have lots of uh, videos to show you here. So uh, nobody here with us in the studio, just me and Randy, but... Uh, we'll get you through. So uh, we like to start off the this week's show the same week we started off last week's show, which was a new tradition that we have here at the Richmond Register. We, uh, we something we call in focus, and something we just recently uh, got going. But we pick out a, 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 a Madison County student athlete, we bring him into the Richmond Register uh, building. There, we give him a nice photo shoot and a nice uh, long form video interview, and then put it together in a nice video package. Like I said, we call it in focus. Uh, two weeks ago, it was Madison Central. Uh, a distance runner, Kiera O'Shea, and this past week it was Madison Central senior uh, Wyatt Stewart, who's a, one of the top uh, uh, high school pole vaulters in the country. So here is Wyatt Stewart, Stewart in focus. If you read any book about pole vault, they talk, there's always segments about pole vaulters have to be a little crazy. It's just a part of doing it. It's, it kind of attracts the crazy people. They tried getting my brother to pole vault because my brother is a cross country runner. And he didn't really want to do it, but I wanted to do something where I could potentially just beat my brother because he's four years older than me. So I always just kind of wanted to try and one like step up him so I didn't even know what pole vault was and so I kind of just did it honestly I didn't have any real high expectations whenever I started I kind of just I, I didn't think about it I was kind of just jumping to jump higher and so I found it fun whenever we were going to West Virginia for the first time just to pole vault and then Eventually we had to go up to New York and then it'd be like, oh, now we got to go over to California and then now we got to go to Texas. So gradually it just started expanding and we had to go to more and more places. So that's always been exciting. We start off at a low height and so you slowly progress up. So it's like you kind of just don't even recognize how much higher you're jumping. You just know it in like measurements. And so you don't really feel the difference. You know, sometimes you'll jump a foot higher and sometimes you'll jump a foot lower. So you don't really notice whenever you're jumping higher. So whenever I go over 17, I'm not, I, it feels the exact same as whenever I went over five feet for the first time. Last year, I've gotten into uh, musical theater just because one of my friends thought it'd be a joke. We were doing Beauty and the Beast and they said it would be funny if I auditioned for it. And so I did and I got into it. And now I've been in three shows so far. Um, we're doing Mamma Mia now uh, for Mother's Day. And besides, I mean, pole vault and doing musical theater are two really time consuming things. 
I'm going to South Dakota, and they have a good history. They've had Chris Nilsson, who just went last year to the Olympics and got silver. And then they have Derek Miles as the coach, and he's, I mean, he went with Chris to the Olympics, but he had competed three times in the Olympics, and I think he placed bronze in the 2008. So they have a good history with pole vault, so he definitely sees me going over six meters eventually. I don't think he's expecting that in my first year of doing it, but he definitely sees me jumping higher than I am right now, and he thinks that I just need to get more speed and strength. All right, that was Wyatt Stewart in focus, and uh, look for some more of those coming up in the future. I'll probably try to do a couple of more of those before the end of the school year. Uh, I have a couple people picked out, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll work it out, but uh, I don't want to make any uh, promises yet, but I got a few people I'd like to talk to, and uh, it's worked out pretty good so far, so I uh, hope everybody's enjoying those, and uh, we can do a few more in the future. So, and I said there was a, it was a definitely signing week here in Madison County, had a ton of signings, so we're just going to take them in chronological order and show you all of them, and uh, on Monday, we were down at Madison Southern for Caitlin Bolin, uh, the uh, Madison Southern senior softball player. And uh, she signed to play at Asbury University. And uh, it's a young lady who's had some health issues over the year that kept her from playing. Uh, but she's having a pretty good year for the Lady Eagles. And she'll be continuing her academic and athletic career at Asbury. So here's a little uh, sights and sounds from her senior day, or signing day. I would like to start off with thanking God for providing me with the opportunity to continue my athletic career to the next level. Without him putting the people in my life to make this possible, I wouldn't be here today. I would also like to say thank you to my parents for pushing me to push past my differences and continue to guide me when I felt like I couldn't do it anymore. Through any injury or any medical diagnosis, they were there to tell me not to give up. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for being my number one supporters on and off the field. Next, I would like to thank my sister for being my number one fan, even though she bullies me when she does better in a game than me. <laughs> she may look up to me, but I admire her determination and hustle for her teammates. I love you, Elena. God knew I needed a little stubborn butt as a little sister. <laughs> I would also like to thank my brother. I look up to him more than he will ever know. He encourages me and guides me through life than anyone. I love you, bub. Thank you. Now I would like to thank any coaches, even some that couldn't be here today, but was part of coaching a girl, not to just fall in love with the sport, but to make, her, make it her passion and strive to get better. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here today. You all pushed me to expectations I didn't even think were possible, made me play new positions that I didn't think I could play, and lifting me up when I was ready to fall apart. This next, next part may be a cringy, but I have to get to shout out to my favorite coach, Shane Bullen. Yes, he may be my dad, but he also knows how to separate coach and father better than anyone I have seen. This man has pushed me to limits I couldn't imagine reaching. He's a definition of a good coach. If a player is struggling, he goes home, Google's drills to fix the problem. He never shuts a player down. He only picks them up and builds them the, with encourage and encourages them towards the next play or next at bat. There was a time when I was ready to give up due to a medical condition and disappointment through that journey. But he was there as a coach to help me fall back in love with the sport I fell in love with when I was 11 years old. Thank you, Dad, for being the coach I needed at that time. To continue the sappy thank yous, I'd like to thank my best friend for being my shoulder through the cries, slumps, and frustration. I'm going to miss having you by my side next year, and I'm not ready for it. I would also like to thank the Knockout Organization for making this opportunity come to life. You all built a family rather than just a team. This organization made my lifelong goal become a reality. Thank you for reaching out to coaches and finding every opportunity for me to show my skill to a college coach. Finally, I would like to thank my teammates, whether it's school ball, travel, or the ones that were there when I fit the first started. <laughs> Thank you for lifting me up when I was struggling. Thank you for keeping me in check when I get frustrated. 
I have made so many great friendships through softball, and I'm sad to say goodbye going into college. But just know you guys made this possible. I love you guys, and I will miss you guys endlessly. I miss the I will miss the jokes, the laughs, the cries, the bruises, and the sweat we all have been through together. Thank you for putting up with my crazy energy and stubbornness throughout the years. I would also like to shout out to the Maddies for being there to crack a joke or break out dancing when we need a good laugh. Thank you guys for being here as I sign to make my Well, that was on Monday, and then on Wednesday over at Madison Central, we had nine signings. Uh, lots of different athletes from lots of different sports going to lots of different places. And uh, we're going to show you uh, every bit of, uh, of their com the, the comments from all nine of those uh, student athletes. And not little clips of them. We're going to show you their entire comments. Uh, their entire comments. And, uh, but, uh, but first, we want to tell you who actually signed. It's very important to let people know who actually signed on uh, Wednesday. But <laughs> it was Jalen Davis. Uh, signing to play basketball at Liberty, Robbie Todd signing to play basketball at EKU, Mason Hamrick signing to play golf at the University of Kentucky, Kirsten Osborne uh, signing to play volleyball and softball at Pasco Hernandez State College, which is down in Florida, uh, Jack Voss signing to swim at Transy, Caitlin Schaefer uh, signing to uh, play tennis at Transy, uh, JC Wilson signing to play tennis at EKU, Reagan Wright uh, signing to, to join the track and field team at Huntington University, and Sam Hughes signing to play uh, uh, soccer at Bellarmine. So here's sights and sounds uh, from Wednesday signing day at Madison Central. First, I'd like to thank God for giving me the opportunity to play the game of basketball. And to all my friends, family, and coaches, I just want to thank you for pushing me and encouraging me to be the best person and player that I can be. I am forever, I am forever grateful. And from mom and sister, thank you for always keeping it real and encouraging me to reach my goals. And to my dad, I would like to thank him for always making sacrifices. Even when he was sick, he would always find a way to push me to be the man and basketball player I am today. And with that being said, I would like to announce that I will be signing with Liberty University. Go Flames! Thank you to those of you who are here today in support of this accomplish accomplishment in my life. This has been a dream of mine since I have picked up the basketball. Mom and Dad, you have always let me work at my own pace and have patience with me, but you helped me to a higher standard to be the hardest worker that I could be, so thank you. Uh, to my coaches, you all took me in with open arms two years ago and were patient with me, even on days I couldn't make a free throw. Uh, I walked into a team that faced the many challenges and you all allowed me to grow through it. Uh, thank you as well to my teammates for pushing me to my fullest. A uh, special shout out to Ali for uh, helping me be 100%. Shout out to the counselors and principals uh, with helping me do the fifth year. I pray every day for this. Uh, glory, all glory to God. Uh, thank you to the coaches at EKU for this opportunity. So with that being said, I'm excited for the next four years at Eastern Kentucky University. Go Terns! Okay, uh, first of all, I just want to thank everyone for being here to support me. And I also want to thank my family for always being there for me no matter what. You know, even if I had a bad tournament, my parents are the ones that would always keep help me keep my head up. And I also want to thank my teammates for always pushing me to be a, a better player, but also helping me have fun on golf course. I also want to thank Coach Collinson for being a great coach and giving me guidance all throughout last season. I've had a very long journey in this game. And I'm thrilled to continue this journey in UK. That being said, I will now sign my National Letter of Intent to University of Kentucky. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the Lord for this opportunity to play both softball and volleyball at the next level. I would also like to thank Coach Moonwall and Coach Deanne for giving me the opportunity to continue my academic and athletic career. Without the two of them, my dreams of playing ball at the next level would not be possible. I would also like to thank my coaches all over the years from softball and volleyball both that have helped me get here and become the player I am today. 
You all have pushed me to be the best I could possibly be on and off the softball field and volleyball court, and I'm forever grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you to my family for all the support given throughout the years, and especially big thank you to my mom and papa for sacrificing everything for me to be able to play sports and constantly running me to and from games and practices. A big thank you to my sister Chloe for being my, by my side throughout all the years on and off the field. You are a mentor to many, including myself, and I'm forever thankful to have a best friend like you who I got the privilege to play with, but most importantly, look up to and take advice from. Last, I want to thank all my teammates from travel ball, club ball, and high school for being my best friend who are also like family. I'll forever hold the good and bad memories in my heart, but most importantly, the fun and bond we've created over the last four years. I've made so many memories and friendships on the field and the court that I will never forget, and I'm so thankful for them all. I'm excited for this next chapter in life, and I'm forever thankful and blessed for each and every person who has impacted my life and made me who I am as an athlete today. With that being said, I would like to announce my signing to further my academic and athletic career at Pasco Hernando State College. Go Wildcats! Kentucky University. 
Go Cards. Okay, so first off, I'd like to thank the people who made it possible for me to be up here today. I'd like to start by thanking God for giving me the ability to play the game I love. Next, I'd like to thank my parents and siblings. The amount of money and time you all spent on me over the years is a debt I can never repay. Please don't think I take the sacrifices you've made for me over the years for granted. Y'all have always believed in me, and for that I am truly grateful for you guys. Next, I would like to thank all the coaches who helped me get to this point as well. Coach Jeremy Anderson, Diego, Marcel, and Luke Spencer. All of you guys helped teach and shape me into the player I am now. As well as Coach Tate and Coach Warren for making my four years here at Central ones I can remember for the rest of my life. I really can't say enough nice things about y'all as men, coaches, and being mentors for us. I couldn't ask for a better group of coaches, so thank you all. I would also like to thank the, the O'Shea's for everything they have done for me. Mr. and Mrs. O'Shea for putting up with my crap for God knows how long. Kira, Tegan, and Connor for being some of the best second siblings and family I could ask for. And lastly, to my best friend for life, Gavin. I know you're up at IUPUI right now doing your thing, but no one knows the amount of time we spent training and grinding for the game we love to get to this point. I can honestly say I wouldn't be here today without you all. Love you guys. First off, I just want to thank God for like, I've really found it this year and it's like really helped my life. And I, uh, I want to thank like my family for uh, showing up and uh, like always being there for me. Today wasn't like the best day for that, but uh, they, 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 they'll pull for it, like through for me. And uh, I want to thank my coaches and my teammates. They, uh, they helped me through like anything athletically. And I want to thank my friends. And uh, yeah, go trees. Congratulations to all nine of those uh, student athletes as they head off to college a little bit later this year. Then on Friday, had a couple of signings. We started off uh, about 11:30 down at Berea Community, where Billy Strife, the uh, senior baseball player, signed to play baseball at uh, Georgetown College. And of course, Billy was a kid who was at Madison Southern uh, for a while and then transferred over to Berea and has been uh, one of the best pitchers for the Pirates the last couple of years. Uh, and the other night pitched uh, seven shutout innings against uh, Jackson County, but a good right-handed pitcher. He's heading off to Georgetown College, and here's what he had to say at his signing day. Smile, Billy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, two years ago I heard that Billy was going to come and be here at Maria. Uh, and I knew, you know, his uh, Billy's in baseball, and I knew his. Uh, he was going to definitely help our baseball program and also uh, improve individually. It's been a pleasure to coach him for the last two years, uh, for sure. Um, I knew uh, with his work ethic and his commitment to, to the game that he was uh, potentially destined to do some good things here uh, with us at Maria Community. Um, with that, that work ethic and that commitment, I think that's definitely going to carry on, not only uh, with baseball, but throughout life. And Billy and I, and he will tell you, uh, we've had a lot of talks of life lessons uh, over the past two years. And, and I hope he's uh, listened to me, and I think he has, and carries those forward throughout uh, you know, his college career and then beyond. Uh, he's, he's, I think he's going to do well at Georgetown. I think it's a good fit for him. And they will be, once they see him get out there, I think they'll be excited that he's part of their program as well. So congratulations to Billy. I love you. And uh, I'll be at some games for sure. I didn't coach Billy in baseball, but I'm coaching football since I've been freshman in Southern. Uh, following each other over here because I'm following as well. Uh, but it was worth it. And uh, you know, I've seen him grow up. Uh, like Coach Bailey said, I've seen his work ethic. Uh, just him improve year after year. It's been amazing uh, to watch the grow uh, and become as he is today. Uh, I haven't seen too many of his baseball games, but hearing the 
the stats and stuff. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I'm incredibly proud that you're getting this opportunity, and I know you want to do good things at Georgetown, and I wish y'all the best. But I just want to first thank uh, the athletic director, Jerry, um, Coach Bailey, um, Principal, and Lagrid, um, Kim, Heath, everybody who has helped this young man achieve his goals. Um, this is one of his biggest goals that he wanted to uh, accomplish. All of his friends, you guys, thanks for the support for him. Um, he, he's a good kid, as you guys know. He's worked hard. Um, we. I started off coaching him back in T-ball when he was four years old, so I've always kind of been on him about baseball. But he's, he's kind of developed a love for the game over the years that you can't really coach and instill that. If you've got the love for the game, then you've got the love for the game. If you don't, then you don't. And that was all him. That's something you can't coach. You coach probably very good there. you got to have the heart to go to that next level, and, and I'm proud of him. And um, I always knew he could do it. <laughs> I just wasn't sure a few times that he wanted to, but the fact that he has the opportunity to play Georgetown and it was actually accepted to pitch for Georgetown is, to me, a huge accomplishment. And, um, I think that's a great deal, and everybody around him, thank you for the support and um, the love that you've shown him. Be on Friday, buddy. I love you. You're going to do good there. Just keep your head focused. You're, you're, you're going to do fine. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not really sure what to say. Bailey's a good coach, I guess. <laughs> I mean, Thank you to everyone. It's not easy. <laughs>Congrats, Billy. And then a little bit later on Friday afternoon after school was over, uh, down at Madison Southern for a summer. Love it. Uh, she's a cheerleader down there at Madison Southern, and she's heading to uh, Eastern Kentucky University. So had a big crowd down there for her, for her signing ceremony. So here's some sights and sounds from that event. Coming, everybody. This is a huge honor. I'm super proud of Summer and to see all of the great things that she does. And I know I'm a little biased, but she's going to the best school with the best cheer program, so I'm super excited for her. Um, hard worker, dedicated, amazing leader. You all could not ask for anyone better to join your team, so super excited to watch you grow and just continue to flourish. And I got to see Summer kind of in a different aspect of things. Um, when I first met Summer, she was doing privates with me and working on her standing tuck. And I got to see her kind of grind that out and work on something that wasn't easy for her to get. Um, but then she started coming to opening open gyms and those kinds of things and doing stunts and those kinds of things. So we're super excited to join her and bring her onto the program. Hey, you read yourself. Okay. Um, I'd like to thank all my coaches over the past 14 years of cheer for getting me to where I am today. I'd also like to thank my parents for pushing me to the best version of myself in and out of cheerleading, and to thank all my friends who believed in me. I'm extremely thankful to be able to come to Eastern. Okay. And then you read that when, when you're signing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry to put a little more pressure on you. <laughs> okay, I'm signing this letter on... Congratulations to Summer and everybody else who signed this week. And we're going to have a couple of more uh, next week as well. And uh, uh, maybe a very interesting one on Tuesday. So we'll, we'll, just, <laughs> we'll keep an eye out for that. So, all right. Well, getting back to what we usually start off the show with, which is a recap of the week that was in Madison County sports. And we'll start off with high school baseball. And a very uh, busy week for the Madison Central baseball team. Uh, five games. And uh, Monday, a 9-7 to win at home over West Jess. Uh, Tuesday, a 15-12 win at LCA. Wednesday, a 6-2 loss at home to Woodford County. 
Uh, Friday night, a 6-3 win at home over North Bullet, and then Saturday, a 4-1 win at home over Highlands. And there was some interesting stuff in here. We'll start off in particular with Tuesday uh, up at LCA. Madison Central scores four times in the top of the first inning to take a 4-0 lead, and then LCA scores 12 times in the bottom of the first inning. That didn't slow the Indians down, though. They got a grand slam homer from Keith Stewart in the second inning and uh, rallied to pick up that victory 15-12. Uh, Keith Stewart, five for six with that grand slam, five RBIs. Uh, Bradley Pointer and Gunnar Rodas both had four hits. And then on Saturday afternoon against Highlands, it was Cannon Spivey making just his second start of the season. Complete game, four hitter. Uh, allowed uh, just uh, gave him just those four hits, had six strikeouts as he picked up the victory. Uh, one for three for Bradley Pointer with uh, two RBIs, while Griffin Lyons was a, a one for two with a run scored, an RBI, and a walk. And after that game on Saturday afternoon, uh, I had a little help on my post-game video. This is uh, Coach Steve Roof, and he's uh, interviewing Cannon Spivey, uh, Griffin Lyons, and Nick uh, Petromonico. All right, we're here at Madison Central High School where the Indians have picked up a 4-1 to one win over Highlands on a Saturday morning slash afternoon. Coach Roof's going to do the honors today, so Coach, you got with us here. Well, I got Nick, and I got Ken, and I grew up, got Griffin. Okay. Sophomore, front sophomore, I mean junior, sophomore, and sophomore. Okay. Nick, done a good job behind the plate all uh, today. You were on base three times. What was your approach at the plate? I was just trying to go oppo because he was, you know, tagging us out. So I was just trying to get it out to second base, hit, hit in the gap. Thought you did a good job. Uh, Cannon came in for us uh, just on the mound. We've had, you know, we've got a lot of games this week. So uh, gave him the ball and, and he took it for seven in. But what was your, what was it like today? Man, it felt great. Uh, Throwing the ball, trying to throw strikes, and it worked out. <laughs> and then finally, Griff has, has really been on the mound for us. He got the start today at second base, looked up, he was on the base several times. What was your approach at the plate? Yeah, there's always a guy on second and third with one out. I was just trying to score and do whatever I can to score. It was, I, the last couple of years, we've done that with Coach Roof quite a bit where he did the interview, and it's always a lot of fun. So thanks, Coach Roof. I appreciate that. And uh, Indians go to 22-7 and seven with that victory over Highlands, and they are right back in action Monday at home against another tough opponent in uh, Trinity coming in from Louisville. How about the model baseball team, man? Uh, they pushed their winning streak to seven games uh, this past week with four victories, Monday 15 to uh, nothing. Uh, over Menifee County, Wednesday 7-6 over Bluegrass United. On Friday, senior night over at EKU, a 16-1 win over Lynn Camp. And then on Saturday, a 15 to uh, nothing win at home over McGoffin County. During this seven-game winning streak for the Patriots, they've outscored their opponents 94-14, including three shutouts. In the win on Wednesday over Bluegrass United, it was Jackson Brown with a walk-off sacrifice fly uh, in the bottom of the seventh to give Model the victory. And on senior night, and again, in the victory over Lynn Camp, uh, the Patriots scored 13 times in the bottom of the first inning and went on to pick up a three-inning victory. And then on uh, Saturday against McGoffin County, it was Beckett Parker Noblet with three hits. 18 and 9 on the season now, and uh, models back in action Monday night at Garrett County. And if they pick up a win on Monday night at Garrett County, they will pick up uh, their 19th win, which is the modern day record for a model baseball team. And we say modern day record because KHSAA's website only goes back to 1998. So that's as far back as any records that they have. So uh, not sure if 60s, 70s, 80s, if any model baseball team had uh, 19 or more wins. So we'll just say it's the modern record, but they have a chance to tie that record uh, on Monday night over in Garrett County. The uh, Madison Southern baseball team, three games this week, were able to pick up one victory on Tuesday, an 8-6 to six loss at Great Crossing. On Wednesday, a 4 to nothing loss at Montgomery County. And then on Saturday, an 11-7 to seven win over Frankfurt in a game that was played over at East Jessamine. On uh, Wednesday night, that 4 nothing loss to Montgomery County, Matthew Rowlett from Montgomery County pitched a perfect game. But on uh, Saturday in the win over Frankfurt, it was Trey Helton, 2-3, for three, with two doubles and two RBIs. While uh, Caleb Cobb, Aiden Lilly, and Zach Hudson had two hits each. 13 and 13 on the season for the Eagles. They're back in action Monday at GRC. Bree Community Baseball team, four games this past week. They were able to pick up one victory Monday, an 11 to 7 loss at, uh, to Lincoln County. On Tuesday, a 16 to 6 win over Bergen. Uh, Thursday, a 4 0 loss to Jackson County in eight innings. And then Friday, a 12 to 5 loss at Casey County. In the win over Bergen, Cam Thompson, three for five, three RBIs, three runs scored, and three doubles. And Gavin Lamb was three for four with three RBIs. 
7 and 13 on the season for the Pirates, and they're back in action Monday at Western Hills. Madison Central softball team uh, had uh, four games this week all on the road. Uh, we're supposed to have a home game, but that one got uh, postponed, so they spent the whole week uh, out on the road. So Monday, an 11 to 1 loss at Harrison County. Tuesday, a 6 to 4 win at Estill County. And then on Saturday they, Saturday, they played a couple of games at the David Irie Classic in Owingsville. They picked up an 8-3 win over Lewis County and a 19-9 win over Bath County. On those two games on Saturday, Andrea Linton homered in both of them, giving her a team-best six uh, home runs on the season. And in the second game, the win over Bath County, Olivia Metcalf went deep as well. So 19-6 on the season for the Lady Indians, and they're back in action Monday against Mayo up in Louisville. Madison Southern softball team, three games last week, three losses, 5-2 uh, to two on Tuesday to Somerset on senior night, 5-3 to three Thursday at Wolf County, and then Friday 9-2 to two at Montgomery County. In the loss to Somerset, it was Ashland Estep, 3-4, for four, and in the loss to Wolf County, it was Alexis Keener, 3-4. for four. 13 and 18 on the season for the Lady Eagles, and they're back in action Monday at LCA. Model Lab uh, softball team saw its losing streak reach six games this week. Three games, three losses. Monday, 13-10 at Shelby County. Uh, th uh, Thursday, 14-0 at Bath County. And then Friday, a hard-fought 6-4 loss at home to Somerset Christian. The loss to Somerset Christian, Piper Moore was 2-3. for three. And uh, also Claire Garner had a triple in that game. Four for four and 15 on the season for model. They're back in action Monday night at home in a 44th district matchup with Berea. Speaking of Berea, Lady Pirates uh, had four games this week. Tuesday, a 19 to 18 loss to Bergen. Wednesday on senior night, a, a 20 to 10 win over Danville. And then on Friday, a pair of games, a 16 to one and 15 to nothing losses at Nicholas County. And then on Saturday, a 13-3 loss to Lynn Camp. In the game, in the win over Danville on senior night, it was Mackenzie Strong, four for four, five RBIs, uh, and a three runs scored with two with a double. Uh, Tess McGlynn, Sadie Hall, and Paige Johnson all had three hits. Three and 15 on the season for the Lady Pirates, and they're back in action, as we said, Monday at Model. All comers track meet on Tuesday, the last all comers meet of the season, the fourth of four. And uh, it was a, kind of a small field, as you, it usually happens when the, you get kind of later in the track and field season. But uh, Central taking first place in both the boys' and girls' competitions, Southern finishing second in both. Uh, individual results, uh, the standout was Models' Anthony Cole. He won the 100-meter dash, the 200-meter dash, and the long jump as well. The complete results are all on our website there, uh, richmondregister.com, if you want to go check those out. But uh, looking forward, the Class 3A track regional is going to be Tuesday, May 23rd at North Laurel. That will be uh, Madison Central and Madison Southern. And the state track meet is set for June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at UK. And the, the Class 3A meet will be uh, the 3rd, which is a Saturday. So, some tennis for you. Uh, Madison Central tennis team on Tuesday picked up 5-0, uh, 5-0 wins over uh, Western Hills up in Frankfurt. And then on Thursday, traveled up to Lexington. The girls picked up a 4-1 win over Sayre, while the boys were handed a 4-1 loss. For the girls, uh, J.C. Wilson, Leah Crump, and Kara Erdman picking up singles victories. Central back home on uh, Tuesday night for senior night against Estill County. Uh, tennis uh, rivalry matchup on Thursday here in Richmond as a, a model played host to Madison Southern. And it was a split as uh, Madison Southern won the boys matchup 2-1 to one, and model won the girls matchup 6-1. to one. Uh, In the boys side of things, it was Cam Heshemi and Rue Limmer and uh, John Parker Harris and uh, Gavin Kashvini picking up doubles wins uh, for Southern. And on the girls side of things for a model, it was uh, Serena Floreal, Kate Arvin, and Kim Woo, uh, Yim Woo Kim picking up uh, singles victories. Models back in action Tuesday at home against Sayer, and the Southern is back in action on Monday at home against Great Crossing. And uh, over the weekend, also uh, some uh, A-Sun news to report. Uh, EKU softball team finished up the season by sweeping Bellarmine. Uh, that kept them alive in the hunt for an A-Sun berth. Uh, they did finish 10 and 14 in the A-Sun, but will not make the A-Sun conference tournament for the second straight year. Only the top eight teams get in, and so the Colonel's season comes to an end uh, this past weekend. And a good weekend for EKU baseball down in North Carolina as they picked up a sweep over Queens College, uh, which kept them in the top eight. 
uh, in the uh, running there for the NA Sunspot too with uh, three weeks left in the season. They have Liberty coming in this next week. So another big week for the EKU baseball team as they look to keep their postseason hopes alive. So that's about all we got for you folks. Like I said, nobody here. Miss me and Randy. We're just hanging out. What am I, chop liver? <laughs> You want to come over here and talk for a while? No, <laughs> no of course not. Every morning. Madison County Live. Good morning, Madison County Live. Sh sh shameless plug from Randy there. Sorry. <laughs> but no, we had a lot, a lot of good stuff there for you. But uh, uh, every, every night, Monday through Friday, we are uh, Madison County Sports Night Live on Facebook. Uh, just follow our, uh, our Facebook page, Register Sports, and you'll get a little notification saying when we're live, and you can come check us out. And so uh, we even, hey, we, we take requests. We play songs and music. I mean, we're just Good whatever. <laughs> so... Jump on there and say hi to us, and every night we, we, we say who's watching, so we give you a shout out every Lloyd night. Lloyd Rose so. says best sports show in Madison County. Yeah. Who's yeah. the argue with Lloyd? I'm not. I don't know. I am. Well, I'm just consistently trying to do the best I can. So there you go. So, but uh, no, I appreciate you guys watching. We have a lot of fun here. We, you know, we we goof around, but we have a lot of fun. Sports is supposed to be fun, man. Don't take it so don't take it so seriously. But as always, Richmond uh, uh, Richmond Register social media sites are the place to be if you want to keep up with uh, sports here in Madison County. Uh, on Twitter, it's Richmond R Sports. On Facebook, it's Register Sports. And of course, we put everything up as well at www.richmondregister.com. So. Appreciate everybody watching. We'll be right back uh, next week uh, with the brand new show. Hopefully we'll have a guest in here. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it'll just be me. I don't know. <laughs> Take care, everybody. We'll see you next week. Miller's Tire and Auto Care. Need to hire experienced technicians, oil change, tire technician, tow truck drivers, exceptional benefits, and pay. Drop your resume off at Miller's Tire on the Big Hill Avenue location. The Richmond Register Sports Show is brought to you by Metronet. Super fast internet. Simply a better connection. Total Comfort, heating and air conditioning. Let Total Comfort keep you cool or warm this winter. Call for service or for a free replacement quote. Winds Auto Detailing Service. Platinum Roofing, Solar and Green Solutions. Voted Richmond's Best Roofer seven years in a row. And by KYMedia.net, digital media solutions on your terms.